Okay? And you hit enter, what do we get? Two, 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 eight. two, two, eight point seven. nine, right? Point seven. Okay, so in our minds, that point seven rounds that eight up to a nine, right? No. You don't even count it at all. I don't care about the rounding part. It's just this. Okay? The only time we will round or we will use decimals is if we're dealing with money. Mm. Okay? Because like if you sell a car, it can be some money and some cents. So that's two decimal places, right? And yes, that is, y'all, exponential growth and decay, it gets very, very big very quick or very, very small very quick. You don't round it? No. No, and here's why. You don't count a fraction part of the person. Every year when I got this part, we knew about it. I appreciate you got this part. I'm just saying. That's why we don't. But every year I got somebody else. Okay? Alright, we'll see what we got here. Okay, each year the legend says it's not sponsored a tennis tournament. Okay? Uh, they start with 100 grand, but in this case, anybody that's a competitor, the way tournaments work is you start with a whole slew of people, right? How many do you end up with? Two. One, right? Two that ends up to one. Okay? Um, you have one winner, hopefully. I mean, I know it's 2019, so how many of Okay, but, alright, so we're going to start with. 128. Now, does this grow or decay? Yeah. Decay, it's going down. You don't start with 128, next round you got 300. Okay, that doesn't work that way. Alright, so you just gotta write your name one more time. Look to the blank one, write your name one. Or did you already do it? Did you already put your name on? Yeah. Oh, okay, then fine. Okay? Um, okay, now, it's decreasing, right, by how much? 0.50, one half, that's 50%, so it's going to be 1 minus 0.50. And how many rounds are we talking about? Five, so our T is 5. So type that straight into your calculator and you should come up with how many people are left in your turn. Uh-huh. Uh, 
All right, we're at 2.4, and we need to go two places to the left. Point zero point zero two four. Okay, now it's just us for the equation, so we're going to leave our t here. In the next question, in question number two, it tells us to use that equation and estimate the population in 2017. Well, where were we at? What year were we at? 2010. So our T is going to be 7. Okay? So the nearest 100 people. All right, y'all. This is where I realized that rounding for y'all is a struggle sometimes. Do you not always put A? A equals. You can put Y. You should do it recorded. You don't have to edit it. What? I'll call it that. Oh, y'all got to check what it is? Yeah. I'll call it. It could be a experiment. I got four words, three, three, zero, three, zero. Okay. That's what's on my screen, right? Yeah. What does the instructions say? Round to the nearest hundred. What is the hundred? No, three, 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 three from this side. Three from this side. Okay, so, that, so what do I look at? Three. I mean, oh, right, I look at the two. The two does not make that three go up, so it's going to be 41,300. Everybody with me? Yeah. Okay? Okay, see if you can set this one up. Now, it's depreciation, so that means you're going to do what? So let's see. We've got, we set it up. The equation should have been A equals, how much? 25,000. What went in parentheses? 1 minus, 1 minus 0.15 to the T, right? And then what went in for your T here? 10. So 25,000. And now, y'all, just so you know, there's oftentimes on your uh, EOC, if they're just asking you to write the equation, they are going to simplify this. So, like, that would be 0.85 to the 10th. It doesn't matter, okay, but if it's multiple choice and they don't have this, they might have this, okay? So just like I said, they just simplified it. So y'all should have gotten... Hold on, I'll be Well, now, Ms. Johnson, why did we use a decimal here? Because you're dealing with money, okay? Anything, any living organism, we don't use a decimal, right? Dogs, people, cats. Something like that, right here, you're whatever. 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 Right here, you're in the parentheses, right? Okay, now notice they have already put that together. Is this gross or decay? Gross. How do you know that? It's greater than one, it's gross. So we're going to take this number and we're going to subtract one to see what we're left with. Okay, but now I'm going to move my decimal back where it belongs. So what is my actual percent? 68% gross. Okay, so if that number in there is bigger than one, we know that it is gross. If that other number in there is less than one, we know that it is decay. Like the next one, yep. Go ahead, Keyshawn, you know the next one is decay. Before you even calculate anything, he knows it's decay because it's less than one. So we're going to say 0 0.88 minus 1. Again, okay, it gave you a negative, right? It gave you this when you do that, right? But the negative just tells me that it is decay, right? That's what tells me it's decay. All right? And then it would be how much percent? So it's 12% decay. Okay? <laughs> Next one is gross. How much percent? Those are easy, right? 1.23 minus 1 gives me 0.23, which is 23% growth. Alright, decay automatically. 
and it is 33%. Okay, we said 0.67 minus 1. That gave you negative 0.33. Negative means decay, so it's 33%. Decay. Okay. 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 Is everybody following what I'm doing? Okay, there are some of these I said on your worksheet for Okay, so I want you to take a minute and try to work through the next couple. I will talk about this real quick because a lot of people are just confused when I say, what is your rate here? It's 1.8. So when I tell them, well, what is that as a decimal, they're like, well, it's already a decimal. I agree that, but it's not. It's in still a percentage. Okay, we need it as a rate. So if you move it, one time is 0.18, but we need to move it twice. So it's going to be 1 plus 0 0.018. Okay, so that's how you would start. What would your T be on this one? Uh, five. five. Okay, so I'm going to let you go ahead and work on this one. Finish that one out. I want you to work on the next one, and then I want you to stop. So you've got this one and the one right after it, okay? Okay, what's the number after four? Five. So that five is going to make that four round up to a five. Okay, now, I will say this. If you wrote the answer as 3826.54, you're not going to see both answers on your ESC. They're not going to have 54 and 55. Did you round or did you not? Okay, because proof be known, a lot of like banks, they don't round. Okay, credit card companies, they do round. Okay, they take more of your money. Banks don't want to give you any more money. Okay, so um, it won't be both. You will have both answers there. I mean, the answer might be 3826.79 or something like that, completely different, because it won't be that close. All right, we got the next one done? What you got? Okay, so 10,685.29. Now, we are going to stop here as far as these notes are today. The remainder of these notes, um, we could do um, the next several uh, up until number 15 are, well actually let's just do this real quick. Let's skip until number 15 and just talk about that because that does show up. Um, by the way, this right here, this, this is amazing to me every year how many people don't know what this means. Okay. How, we'll start with things you know. If something happens annually, how many times does it happen every year? Once a year. Once a year. Something happens daily. Every day. How many times does it happen in the beginning? 365. All of this is based on how many times does that occur in one year? Okay. What about monthly? Oh, yeah. How about quarterly? Four. How about weekly? 28. I mean, that's Oh, yes, yeah, it is. Yes, it is. It's 28 weeks. Don't be lying to me. Yes, it is. It's 24. 52. 52. There are 52 weeks. No. Roughly, there, listen, roughly there are four weeks in a month. Roughly. Right? 28 days to 30 days. 31 days. There's 12 weeks, 12 months in a year. So 4 times 12 is already 48. Okay, but those extra two couple of days over those 12 months adds up and gives us the 52 weeks. Okay, that's why, um, well, let me do this one. So leap year. Okay, so we're going to skip all that right now. Okay, just looking right here, and I won't go through it, but I just want to, I'll do this one just to do another case. What's your initial amount here? A lot. 2,500. The amount you started with is 2,500. Now, can you tell me my break, my Rate of growth or decay? It is decay. How much? Be careful. Figure it out. Then 0.955 minus 1. Okay, so the negative just meant decay, right? Two places over, what should it be? 4.5% decay. Okay? Alright, now, that's all this is asking as well. Okay? Like so, some of that's on your homework. Um, tomorrow that you're doing class. We will finish these notes, okay, uh, on Friday. 
has a lot of